Hi, and welcome to another day of Swift programming. And in this one, I want, want to challenge you to try and use a stack view to put our buttons in that we had on our head counter. Um, and if you didn't have the head counter, don't worry. Just, you know, try and use the stack to put your, um, and I'll just get the, the one that we're going to use. Um, yeah, use, use the stack to put your buttons in and it'll like, you can use that stack, like there's a horizontal or a vertical stack and it will align them equally and give them equal space inside this stack view. Now, at the moment I've got them vertically, we're gonna try and do it horizontally. Um, the easiest way to do it is, I just need one second here. All right, is what we do is we grab the, the buttons and put them side by side, just for starters. All right, so just say you've got your buttons side by side, then select them both. Don't worry about the constraints or anything. And down the bottom here, we've got um, embedding them inside something. So we're gonna embed them into a stack view. And there it is there. And then all we do, let's drag this into the middle of our view. And what we wanna do is then add some constraints to that. So I'm gonna just do it in relation to the counter label, do some vertical spacing and center horizontally. And that'll do for that. And then with the stack view, as you see, I'm going on and off it. I just wanna get the, the stack view. There we go. You can sort of see it's selected there. I'm just gonna drag it and just increase it a bit. Now there's a good thing you can do is we can check it out in other devices, what that looks like. So let's try the iPad Pro. Let's see if it's all centered. And yeah, looks good. And then we'll try something really small like the SE. Check that they're all on the view. Yep. iPhone 8, looking good. And iPhone Max. All right, and so you don't have to build your device every time to check all that. That's a great thing about this. And you can also do orientation. What does it look like? Looks good there. Let's go on something smaller. Yep, looks good on the SE as well. And the iPad as well. Yeah, like you might want to increase certain things like the size of the label and stuff like that on an iPad because there's a lot of wasted space there, but you know. This is just a, just getting us started. So that's that. I'm gonna go back to portrait. And yeah, so that was it. Um, we've finished it. So that's how to embed things into a, a stack. I'm gonna build it just in case too. And we can also look at the stack and see what it's doing. If we go to the attributes, you can choose the distribution. So I've got it set to fill. We could try fill equally and equal spacing and equal centering. Try all those out, see which one best suits uh, what you're trying to do. I'm just gonna try fill. That's what's building at the moment. And we've got our simulator. Yep, looks good. And all working too. Cool. Well, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in.